how did I start ballet? How did I look for classes around me? How did I know that there was adult, adult ballet classes near me? Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is where we're all gonna die on YouTube. I post every Mondays. Today, I wanted to do a video that I've actually done before or a similar concept, but I still get so many like requests on how to start ballet as an adult. And I hope that this video is short just because I'm trying to get ready to leave soon. There might be like little puppies crying because my sisters, she brought some puppies over and um, they're just kind of crying right now because they're about to be fed. Oh, and I'm going to go ahead and take you to the store that I like to go to originally. I'm trying to create like a black swan lookbook. Also, I'm a Sag son, so if I talk fast, I'm sorry. I'm trying to create a lookbook as far as like a black swan. It'll probably be in like different parts just because she actually has like a really complex wardrobe. Maybe not at first glance. And also like I'm a geek. Like I don't know if I should like break down the movie like that. As far as like wardrobe, I would suggest if you're looking for anything I would go into a store and I've talked about how like it's intimidating at first but I promise you'll get used to it. Sorry, I'm getting like cozy. The very first time I went into the store, I like literally turned around and walked out just because it didn't feel like, what is it called? The syndrome where you're just like, you don't feel like you fit in here. Especially like when you're gonna go in and get your shoes for class, I would recommend going in there. As far as like whether getting your cloth ones or getting your leather ones, which ones first? I will touch up on that towards the end of this video. So let's go to the clip of me showing you everything really cute in the store. Okay, so I know that this is a little crooked, but just bear with me. So I just stopped by Dorothy's dance shop, and this is um, a location that's kind of far away from me, but this is normally where I come in and grab some stuff. I really wanted to grab a few things because for one, I need to kind of change up. If I keep making these videos, I feel like I need to change up what I'm wearing i guess like a little bit we we're just gonna break down some of the basics that you guys need for or that you guys could potentially need as a beginner starting your adult classes so my phone kind of has like this like problem with the audio i did this video like years ago but i guess it's like time to redo an another one um and if you guys are interested in seeing other ballet videos of mine that i've covered i've covered so many topics i have a whole playlist maybe i'll insert it at the top or below if you're starting out and you kind of want to do this consistently I will show you some cute pieces and also just um, some stuff that I find interesting my shop mostly carries Capizio and that's mostly what we have in store I've said this so many times before but I really think that you guys should try if you can I think you should try the leotards on in person if you can like, I want to order from Yumiko, but there's, like, no Yumiko near me. Anyway, if you can, try it on in person first because the sizing, honestly, is kind of weird. Partially, I'm coming in here because Black Swan and I need to do a video on it and I'm probably going to do a TikTok on it. Like, okay, so, like, I kind of want to be a geek about, like, the wardrobe in Black Swan just because I love film so much. And this is, like, a side topic. I promise we're going to go in there. She has this outfit. Also, I have a cute zit. Anyway, she has this outfit where it's literally just, like, a gray sweater and dark jeans and i'm like that's literally me right now that's literally me right now So as you guys can see, I literally walked in there and I was the only person there. So I was trying to be, I didn't want to like talk. And also my, my phone films like really weird audio sometimes. When you go to dance class, you can wear whatever you want. You can literally go in your yoga clothes and your yoga pants and or a two piece set. You can literally wear anything you want. If you want to consistently do ballet, I mean, again, you can still wear whatever you want, but if you want to wear like leotards, this is where I suggest that you get your leotards. And these are the few that I'm looking at that I thought were so cute. They also have wraparound skirts. I didn't really film. I have my pink one. I kind of want to get a pink, a white one, but they also have bullet skirts that basically you won't have to wrap. Cause sometimes when I'm dancing, the wraparound skirts, they kind of come loose 
and they fall off of my body. So that's something that I would say like if you basically want to wear your leotards and your tights and a skirt to kind of cover that bottom area because it doesn't feel like natural to just like walk like that normally um, that's what I would do you could also wear some shorts I found some really cute shorts on here this is also where I get my leg warmers so they have like a few different colors in store as you guys can see I was really on the hunt for some gray ones and they didn't actually have any gray ones and I was like disappointed because that's like part of the the look so I think I'm gonna order some on Amazon just so that I can recreate that look for in the next either in the next video or the next next video for you guys and I also ordered a few things for this wardrobe that I'm trying to recreate for you guys and also because I think it's so cute anyway the shoes that I got are the brand so Danka, and I've talked about this before but I just anyone that's new these are the canvas shoes that I have at first like you're like okay especially to newbies it's like what's the difference why are these so, you know, why should you get these? Okay, so the sole, you can feel the least. And I know that sounds kind of weird, but when you are dancing, you can kind of, like, it kind of feels uncomfortable to kind of, like, roll out your foot. At least with my leather ones. Just because you can feel it so well. Like, it just kind of feels weird. And these feel, like, literally, like, socks by Sodanka. These have support. So if you're going to do, like, canvas or uh, leather ones, and, of course, any ballet dancers that are professionals or... Just have done it for a long time. Please leave your comments below in case I'm saying something wrong. I'm just trying to show you what I've learned, I guess. So you see that this has like um, structure for your foot. So that's what you want. So I have some leather shoes and I think I'll insert a clip in here. They don't have this support. Whether or not you should get like leather or canvas, I get like mixed feedback. Maybe you can buy both, but if you're trying to get one, it's heavily suggested. Like my my dance teacher told me leather are fine, and a lot of people in the comments say that when you're when you're starting belly, like as a little kid, <laughs> I was gonna say a little person, as a little kid, they start out with leather for the first couple years to build up the the strength in their arch. I'm not a professional. I think you could do either or. I still like to wear my leather one because I do feel like some resistance. My leather ones, again, don't have this, what is this called? Support. So like maybe if you're gonna get leather ones, get the, if you're gonna get leather ones, get them at the dance store. But whether or not you wanna start out with leather ones, after being told that it helps build your arch personally, I was like definitely gonna keep my leather ones. So that's that on the shoes. I'm gonna show you the tights that I wear and I've talked about this before. This is not, nothing new, but you know, maybe you guys have never heard me say this. These are the tights that I buy, they're Capizio. They do have like a hole, kind of almost like at the bottom of the foot. So you can take off the height from your foot if you want to, if it gets hot, or you could just leave it on your heel. There's different kinds of uh, heights. I would also suggest maybe asking someone that's helping you to see what they would recommend. Lastly, I would say lastly, is this you don't have to get in store. Actually, I got this on Amazon. Um, if you guys need a link, let me know. But basically, this is one of the brands that one of my flowers kind of stained mine. This is one of the brands that my uh, shop carries and this is a light resistance band that I've been using to help build my my arch. Build strength on your arch. And honestly, I would just say like go in with your leotard, go in with your tights, maybe a little short. You can honestly use whatever one. But I get my shorts at the dance shop because I think they're cuter there. Last, I just want to end with how did I start ballet? How did I look for classes around me? How did I know that there was adult, adult ballet classes near me? What I did was I googled it <laughs> and I called around. Where I used to live before didn't offer because it was a smaller town. My cat. Where I used to live before was a smaller town and it didn't offer adult ballet classes. Maybe now they do, I'm not sure. Where I live now, they offer so many adult dance classes, which is great. A lot of them are intermediate, so I did ask to see, like, do you guys have beginner classes? One thing I will say, the first studio that I went with, I did ask about, like, eventually going on point, and they said that that's not an option at the location that they have, but that was my personal goal, so that kind of... I still ended up going to that shop, that studio, sorry. I didn't love the studio so much just because I felt like it was just, the class was kind of like an afterthought, almost like the adult classes. Like they didn't really kind of put a lot of focus on you and like you just had different subs and they never really knew what level you were at. 
Anyway, so what I did again was I called a different different studios to see like whether or not they offered being able to go on point eventually. And lastly, I just ended up the studio that I'm currently at after calling and verifying that I could eventually go on point. Pay attention to your teachers and see if you like them. You know, obviously you're not gonna like all of them, like as far as like how they teach. But the one that I currently have, I feel like she's like a little strict. She's really cute. She just tried to remember where I'm at as far as my progress. She's like, oh, you haven't done that yet. Let's start here at the bar. Keep your hand on your hips. If you can't follow along, that's okay. So I would shop around almost, <laughs> not actually, but you know what I mean. Lastly, you guys just have fun. Like that's something that I really want to add in. I get a lot of comments that I'm inspiring you guys to start your journey. That makes me really, really happy. I do also want to add that a lot of studios have been affected. No one's paying me to say this, by the way. Like I hope you guys don't think that, but because of COVID and even like dance shops are being affected because of COVID. So if you've ever wanted to try ballet, I feel like now is the time just because Again, a lot of studios are closing. I think that you guys should try to... Sorry, you guys. Everyone's literally calling me. The No one ever calls me. I don't know why I'm getting so many phone calls. If you guys have ever thought about joining ballet classes, I think now is the time. If it sounds intimidating, start with one. Just think about like going for one class, like take it one day at a time is all I will say as far as like advice. I understand that it could seem overwhelming and I hope that this was encouraging for you guys. If you guys have any other questions, I feel like I answered all, all of the questions down below. I do have videos on like my outfits and everything like that because I know that you guys, you guys are always wondering as far as like what I wear to class and stuff. The Black Song Swan video will be coming soon and with that being said thank you guys so so much for watching the next video that i have is a get ready with me so go ahead and make sure to watch that and remember i post every mondays and i will see you guys next week goodbye